How's the festival going? Really, really well. We have a great turnout here today on the Octagon and I hear things are really flying over there um, at the clock. Well, this area on the Octagon here in Westport is the Food Village, part of the Westport Food Festival. And it's um, a space that's showcasing Westport's wonderful culinary delights. We have hotels, restaurants and cafes like ourselves, OCs at Super Value and our bakery. Um, and it's just give, bringing, bringing our delights out onto the street, bringing it to the public. There's samples here, lots of fun, lots of food, savoury, sweet, coffee, tea, the works. To sample the food, you come here to the table beside me and purchase some Kofi shillings, uh, two euro each or 12 for a tenner. Um, we also have some live cooker demonstrations going on at the moment over across from me here at the Expert Electrical Shop. Rory Morahan, the Druid Chef, is giving a cooking demonstration there at the moment. Food festival wonderful. So I had to come down and have a look and get the taste and smells of food in the Octagon. I think it's great that it's on here this year and up at the clock it was up that way and it's really terrific. I love it. I've always loved the whole I love the whole idea of food festivals and I love outside outdoor food. Um, I'm um, the and the and the and and the the and 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 and the 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 we um Lachlan O'Maran, Ig Janu uh Chishbantas Lishna Dini Yoga, Ig Chishbant Dofa, Kendo Kendo Skona and Yanu Chagailiga. you know, everything that I have, I have to have kind of quality, good pots and pans, you know, you don't want stuff that is going to kind of, you know, uh, catch you and you know save this is a cast iron, so I know I can get heat in that and I can cook. This I can turn that into a broiler, brazer, saute, poacher, pot roast, whatever I need, you know. Hotel. Hotel. What's your uh, forte? Our forte, we have homemade brown bread, homemade granola, and we're also um, introducing our new um, guaranteed Irish menu. In Madden's Bistro? In Madden's Bistro. Mussels. Mussels. Mussels in a cream sauce, garlic and vegetables. All the way from the Atlantic Coast, too. Yeah? So you specialise in fish? Huh? No? We do. Mm. Mainly all fish, 80% of our menus would be fish. All fresh fish supplied by local suppliers. We have Parry Gannon, we have Foley Clover, which will be alley down in Clifton, uh, Tom Duan, all local. These are mussels, yeah? And meat wise, we've been getting a lot of Kelly's and Newport and things like that, so. We're from Castlebar, we're actually in business 33 years last Tuesday. Uh, happy birthday, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we manufacture uh, pork and bacon products, distribute to uh, Mayo and Galway. Uh, we're looking for new agents to, to uh, new products to expand our range of products and uh, improve our supply here and to our customers. What do you think of the food festival? It's very good. Yeah. It's our first term at it now and uh, it's, it's uh, bringing a lot of people around. Hopefully we get a few new contacts out of it and um, highlight our products. Oh! What's up? Come on. What's up? <laughs> Helen is, Helen is get, get me something here. Do you want to get some Mulroney soup? I know what it is now. Helen is looking after me. She's my cousin, of course. Okay, well, she look after you very well. What are you doing there, Helen? I'm looking after her. Oh, what kind of soup have you got? Oh, look at this. Oh, it looks really nice. Oh, this? Well, it looks really good. Oh, you're great. What kind of soup is that, Helen? It's Volavant mix. Volavant mix. Various butter products from Connacht Gold here at the moment. So we've got our spreadable, low fat, spreadable lighter. We also have our softer butter. Then we also have various Connacht Gold milks that we do. So we have buttermilk, skimmed milk, low fat, fresh milk. And we also have our various um, cream there at the minute. Can you do a recitation on that? <laughs> A recitation and brown bread. I better not be seen to be eating my own brown bread though, on the camera. What are you doing here, Patricia? What am I doing? Yeah. 
I'm out in the middle of the octagon today. Take me home. <laughs> <laughs> the fella going in there with a bucket of stuff, whatever it is. What am I doing? I'm selling all our beautiful home here. Homemade cakes and pies and brown bread. And now we're putting on a nice apron. Is that the janitor? That's the janitor. Yeah. Now. I even know them. What do you think, Seamus? You, what do you think of the food? The, the Captain Mariano. And I must get the recipe for it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Are you enjoying your holiday? We are enjoying our holiday. Okay. Having a nice, some nice food? Yes, amazing food. Where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. What do you think of Ireland? I think it's brilliant. What do you think of Westport? Even more brilliant. You're not right. Even more brilliant. Even more brilliant. Even more brilliant. Even more you name it. You name it. What do you think of the way the farming is going, John? All this bringing it into the market here in town. There's money in farming at last, John. Yeah. yeah. Hotel Westport, yeah? That's it. What's your forte? Our forte is food, good food. Good Actually, I had, a good, I had a nice feed of it on there last night. Yeah, it was. Past all captains. Oh yes, we had to, of course you were with the past captains, Ali. Yeah. Food is yeah. excellent. Good stuff. Thanks very much. Yeah. So what have, you, what have you got in the fridge? You? Do beautiful ice creams in the fridge. We're doing canary potatoes, and we're doing petit fours as well. Homemade petit fours. Petit fours. Yeah. That's homemade petit yes. fours. All homemade. Would you Everyone. like to sample one of our petit fours? I absolutely would love to sample one of your petit fours. Yeah, why not? What am I eating? Yeah. I'm eating a. Uh, uh, sausage and champ and uh, red, 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 red cabbage marmalade. It tastes good? Uh, it, uh, especially the bit that I just dropped on the street. <laughs> and I'm looking at it and uh, as, as uh, Alex says, perhaps. Uh, yes. What do you want, Alex? What are you eating? Uh, canary potatoes with a rojo sauce, it's like a peppery red sauce, really good. Now we have kebabs and I have a nice story about my Danish apple slice over there. I learned how to make it from a German prison of war, um, uh, what's his name, Knobloch, Killarney, Franz Knobloch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he taught me how to do this Danish apple slice. So we're making it with all the local ingredients, sponge cake from the, the market and puff pastry from Galway. And, Couple of local apples. It's the local ingredients festival, is it? More or less. Ah, yeah. We're trying to feature local artisan food and the producers, yeah. as well as the restaurants and hotels. Uh, you going into bees? Uh, yeah, yeah. I am definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Birds and the bees. You got a great, you got a great selection there, isn't it? And the cigarettes, oh, yeah. Mighty, yeah, I love it. I love it. I've, I've, I've had some great toys. Great fish. I've had some lovely pork. Local stuff. And at three o'clock we're going to have the local beef shin cooked in vegetables and local beer. What have you got there? Sonia McGuire, you know, from Newport. These are your beer. And when you buy them, you can store them properly. You can dry out perfectly. You store them in an airtight container. And then this bit is left is full of flavour. Around the other side, yeah. Around the other side. Have a little jar at home and pop it into some sugar. This then, when you... If for dessert at home, obviously you're not going to be putting them into these. You can put them into little coffee cups, you know, and serve it that way. But these turn out very well, which looks really nice on the plate. Do you want to do Yeah, you can carry one of those. Fairly small, little bit of really. Bit thin of people. So beef shin is normally boned off, but if you cut it with the bone into it, there's little, there's like that, and you brown it off, and, and then cook it in the oven. The marrow comes out of the bone, spreads into the vegetables and all. We've got li Lily and Liam Ryder vegetables here, carrots and potatoes. So enjoy it. See what you think. Sorry. Sorry.